this is going to be my description of a setup of a channel on this Wushin KG980P. Now, as far as I can tell so far, this is a real nice radio. I really like it. The manual for the radio pulls about 40 inches of mercury vacuum. It sucks big time. The application for programming the radio, which we'll get into later, pulls about 20 inches of mercury vacuum, but it does work. So we'll go over that here in a little bit. But right now we're going to go over manually setting one of these. Now right now I'm in channel mode on both the A side over here and the B side over here. Now I'm going to program channel 999. You can, you can program up to 999 channels in this radio. I'm going to program channel 999 to this repeater right here, which is my local repeater. And right now they're in channel mode because you can see the channel. This is channel number 25. You might not be able to see that from here. This is channel number 202. There's three different modes of channel mode. That is frequency mode. Let's turn the volume up here so you can hear it. Channel mode. That's the first channel mode displays the channel that you have programmed. Channel mode. The second shows the frequency that you have programmed, the receive frequency. Channel mode. And the third has the name that you have set on that channel. And then it goes frequency to frequency mode. mode. And that's where we want to be. Now to get there, I am pushing 6 on the keypad. I'll hold that like that. Well, you can see it like that, so there's no glare. 6 on the keypad. So, I've got it to frequency mode. I'm going to push key number 2 to get in to enter the frequency. And I'm going to enter. 1, one 4, 7, Zero, one, five. Okay, there is my receive frequency, 147.015. Now I'm going to go to key 7 on the keypad. This is one of the things that really sucks about this manual. <clears throat> it says that key 7 is a hot, a hot key, and it will talk about it. It says look in the reference to the hotkeys, but there is no reference to the hotkeys in the manual anywhere. So I'm going to select key number seven, and right up here in the corner, there's a plus sign. Frequency direction. And it's setting the frequency direction or the frequency dispersion is one how it's referred to in the manual also. Now it's set to negative. Frequency direction. I do not know what the R and the C mean. Frequency I do direction. not know what the plus R and the C means. Frequency direction. I do not know what the minus R and the C means and I can't find it anywhere in the manual. Frequency direction. There is no frequency reaction. Frequency direction. And there is the positive and that's what I want it to be. So we set that with key 7 on the microphone. Now we're going to set the offset and that's menu 4. So if you hit menu, the menu button, now you can use, you can select these by just going up or down on the, on the buttons here. However, if you hit menu function select 4 it goes to the offset. You hit the menu again Frequency to actually direction. set it. And I'm it's set to what I want it, but I'm going to reset it. Zero. Yep. I need to exit. If you don't do it in time, it goes out of the set. Frequency select. Zero. 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 Six. Zero. Zero. Enter. And hit the menu again. 
to set it. Now we're going to set, or we're going to do the save. Now you would think that since there is a menu item for delete, function select right there, that right next to it there would be an add channel. But there is not. There's a channel name and then it goes to the LED settings. Doesn't say this, well it kind of refers to it in the manual but once again it's one of those function keys that it refers to and it never really explains it. Keypad on the microphone number four has in letters MEMCH for memory channel. That's where you store the channel in the memory. If you hit the four while you're in frequency mode, channel memory. it goes to the channel memory. Now I'm going to set this to 999. Nine, nine, nine. nine. Hit menu to accept it. Enter. Now that one is set to memory channel 999. So now I'm going to go to channel mode, which is key, pads, or key number six again. Channel mode. I have a channel 999 programmed. And if we look at the frequency, it is 147.015. Now I'm going to set the transmit CTCSS for this repeater. And that is done in menu item number 28. So menu 28. Go into entry mode, and this is the correct one, 88.5. You use the up and down arrows to select which CTCSS you want. I want 88.5. Hit menu to, to accept it. Now that is set. Now I'm going to name the channel. The channel name is menu item number 22. So, menu Function, 22. I'm there, hit menu to go into the entry. The number sign goes through uppercase, lowercase, symbols, and then, num or excuse me, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, symbols, and then back to uppercase. You select the up arrow to select which one you want. I'll just set this one back to A. The down arrow goes to the next character. I'm going to set this one to uppercase B. And then uppercase C. The down arrow moves to the next character. If you want to go back, you can hit the star key, and it goes back a letter, and you can change it. Now I'm going to leave a space there, so I'm just going to hit the down arrow and leave it alone. The numbers, like you can get to the numbers by using the pound key, and then use the up arrows, or you can just enter the number. So I'm going to say 1 down arrow, two, down arrow, three, down arrow, and hit the menu Enter. to accept it. Now I'm going to hit exit so that it goes back into here. Let's go uh, keypad number six. Channel mode. We're in channel mode. There is the name we just set. ABC123 because I'm a just a Jackson 5 kind of guy. Now to delete that, channel, 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 mode. to delete that you would go to menu Function, 21, hit the menu, enter which one you want to delete, hit menu again and it would delete it. I'm going to leave it there for right now so that we can download this configuration to my computer and look at it in the program. I'll be right back with you. This is the KGUV 980P programming software. 
And as I stated before, the manual pulls 40 inches of mercury vacuum. This one pulls about 20 inches of mercury vacuum. It sucks, just not quite as bad as the manual. Now, this is the way it looks when you first open it up. One and two, channels in one and two are programmed for you. I'm not too sure what those are. I highly recommend doing a read on your radio just as soon as you get it and save that out as an original file. Just in case you mess something up, with a setting you can go back to what it was factory so first thing we do is a read now I'm going to read this because I've already got it all programmed as you can see the little bars progressing down at the bottom it's reading you want to set the radio to a couple frequencies on both sides that won't transmit while you're doing this read and write. Channel mode. And the radio will respond when the read's done, and there is the reading. Now, if we go down here to the last one, we'll see the 147.15 with the offset of plus 0.6 on the transmit, 88.5. Um, CTCSS it's set to wide transmit power I'm not sure what these do through here and you can find out on your own this one right here though is important to me and I'll tell you why we'll go up to the top these top 10 frequencies here that I have programmed in are all NOAA weather radio frequencies. And as far as I know, I can't tell if you're manually programming these in how to make the transmit frequency blank. You can do it here on the program. But I want those to set scan off so that when I do scan frequencies, it doesn't stop on NOAA, which is transmitting 24 hours a day. You can manually go and say, let's look at channel one, but as far as scanning, it does not scan it. Now also, this radio has scan groups that you can set. The top one is scan all. It means it scans all 999 channels you have programmed in, except for the ones that you have set to scan off. Now, if you go to the scan group, I set 11 through 205 as my normal scan. And if I'm going to Oklahoma to see my son, I've set scan group number 10 down here to Oklahoma trip. And that just scans repeaters that would be on the way to Oklahoma. So you can set up to 10 different scan groups or scan them all it doesn't matter now let's get back to the main memory we'll go down here and we'll just manually put this in the same way on channel 998 so we're going to enter 147.015 now the offset it's not like in the radio where you set what the offset is you actually Set it here just like that. I want to offset frequency of plus 0.6. So we're going to set this to 88.5. You can type it in or you can select it from the pull down menu. And I'm going to set this channel name to. It's easy as ABC123. Haha. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to write this to the radio. Same bar down at the bottom, doing its thing. 
the the scan add is one of the menu options so you can set that when you manually add I won't look it up but it's in the manual it's one of the few things that's in the manual now the right is okay Channel mode. and we'll look at this on the radio so that's how you use the application the configuration settings um, all all of these are settable inside inside the radio with menu options I'm not sure what there's the FM broadcast memories you can set different channels for when you're listening to the FM radio on it the remote settings I'm not going to use and like I said there's the scan groups so let's go back to the radio and look at channels 998 and 999 and also I'll go ahead and delete those two just to show you how that's done here we are back to radio now now we're going to delete those two that I just put in channels 998 and channels 999 now as I said over here on the the side A I've got ABC 123 is channel 999 if I go down one, nine, nine, eight. there's the it's easy and 998. Now, menu item Function select. number 21 is delete channel. I'm going to select that and I'm going to, it's set on 998 because that's the one I'm on, was on. Hit channel menu again eight. and it gets gets rid of it. So I'm going to go Function, select. 21 again, menu item, I'm going to go down to, I'm going to delete 999, nine, nine, nine. Nine. and it's deleted. Now if we try to select channel 999, we can't do it. It's on channel 970 right now, which is the last one I have programmed. If I hit the down arrow, Nine, six, nine, nine, zero, or the zero, upper, excuse one. me. Southwest winds up to 15 miles an hour. It goes into those NOAA stations, like I said, that are not on scan. Now, this just hit scan. There it's scanning. And it here in just a second you'll notice that it skips there it went right through and did not scan those weather radios that's the programming manually and through the application of the KGUV 980P quad band FM transceiver radio so far I'm very happy with the radio I think it's going to work out just fine for what I want it to do there's probably better ones out there. There's probably better prices on different radios. I know, but this is the one I bought. This is the one I'm going with. I did not see a lot of information out there on how to do these two steps, so I thought I would try to show just exactly what I did to get it all done. Y'all take care. Do with this as you please. Follow all the regulations. Get your license to be a ham operator. It's not a hard thing to do. Take care out there, and we'll see you all later.